Hi, this is Josh Mank for the Lone Star Conference. Thank you for joining us. We're here with head men's basketball coach Sam Walker as part of LSC Basketball Online Media Day along with DeAndre Carson. Uh, first off, Coach Walker, uh, what are your expectations for the team this year? Well, probably the same as they are any other year and same as everybody else in the league. We, we want to win the conference and we've been we've been fortunate enough to have some years that we've done that and uh, uh, talking about what we're going to do in, in February or March is kind of premature. We, we need to be thinking about what we're going to do today and what we're going to do to get ready for, for the opening game. But the ultimate goal, of course, for every team in, in the LSC is to win that championship. DeAndre, what are some expectations that you and the team have talked about this year? Um, some expectations we talked about is staying together as a whole, uh, focusing on a task at hand. Like we know that we're going to face adversity, but if we all just stay together and focus, we can do anything we put our minds to. Uh, talk a little bit, Coach, about how many returners we have coming back versus how many uh, newcomers and what changes and improvements that leads to this year. Well, I mean, we, we've got we've got a lot of returners. They just didn't play much. Uh, and, and we've brought in a, a lot of new faces, and it's, it's good. Uh, whenever we're in practice daily, I, I look to try to find this guy right over here because it's a face that I know, and I know when I say things, he knows what needs to be done. Well, not all the rest of our guys know that. And a lot of people we're counting on. We're talking about seven or eight uh, guys that are new that we're counting on to play. They're getting to know each other, and it's, it's encouraging because I'm hearing the same conversations that uh, DeAndre alluded to of the – the we and us and our and doing things together has been very evident in our practice session so far. DeAndre, how is it building uh, those new guys into essentially what turns into a new team this year? Um, it's doing a good job. Um, I think everybody is buying into the system because in order to be successful in this program, you have, we have to buy into what Coach is saying because if we don't buy in, it's not going to come together. So I think everybody's doing a pretty good job by being unselfish and being coachable. Coach, what do you think the most as important aspect of basketball between the lines your, teams need, your team needs to focus on the, to be successful? Oh, you know, it's we, we look at just the game of basketball. If you don't turn the ball over and you can win the battle of the boards and you take smart shots, you give yourself a chance to win. And so everybody in America is preaching that. It's a matter of who can do that the best and who can really who, who can really guard and, and win those statistical battles. And, and so it gets back to getting people to play together and get people to bot in that this is what we're going to do. There's one way we're going to do it and we're going to stick to that way. This is a question for both of you. This is a hypothetical here. Do you think it's more important to have a team with the highest scoring offense or the team that allows the least amount of points on defense? I would say the uh, least amount of points on defense. He's trying to please me with that answer no. right there. <laughs> and, the, and the words of my, my late father, uh, William Earl Walker, he said, I never have seen you win a game that you didn't outscore your opponent. And I, was, I said, that's really smart, Dad. You really uh, That's some really good advice. So as long as we have more than they have, we're going to be happy. We don't, it doesn't matter if it's 100 or if it's 25. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the Lone Star Conference. Coach Walker, you've been in the league for a long time. Uh, Talk a little bit about the tradition of this league and how tough how tough this year is going to be, uh, top to bottom. It's brutal. It is. It, I, I come home from work many many night and tell my wife I I wouldn't I need to find something else to do for a living. When you when you're going against the the Angelo States and, and Tarleton State and Midwestern and Western, we're talking about nationally ranked teams throughout the entire conference, and the people that aren't nationally ranked are such well coached and such a solid programs this is really you've you've got to really enjoy the battles if you're going to do it for a long time because there is not a conference in division two basketball in the country that has the type of competition that, that we have night in and night out deandre uh talk about how your team gets involved in the community and how we involve the community uh some ways we look forward to involving the community with our team this year uh some ways we uh are involved with uh, the community is uh, we have a sac organ organization where three of the team, uh, three of my teammates and myself are involved. We do like lunch with lions. We uh, do highway trash pickup, and like if we do any other opportunity, have any other opportunities, we'll tell my coach, and then get other players from the team to help be involved in it. So those are ways that we be involved with the community. Uh, we've got a couple of new road trips in the league this year. Uh, talk a little bit about some things you're looking forward to over the course of the whole season. I know it's hard to look ahead this early Are you asking season. if I'm looking forward to going to Silver City, New Mexico, is that correct? And, and, Odessa. and Odessa. Odessa, two places that we vacation as a family quite a bit. Uh, 
No, I, the, the league has expanded to the point that that's, that's an element that is uh, not one of concern because everyone's got to deal with it. But travel, it's, it's a long way for people to get to us. It's a long way for us to get to them. I think uh, we are very fortunate to work at a university where our athletic director and our president uh, both want us to be traveling the way we need to travel to give our student athletes the best chance to have success, not just on the court, but academically and socially. And so we, we look forward to those trips, but they're not going to be easy. They're a long way away from home. DeAndre, a cl trip a little bit closer to home. Conference tournaments in Allen once again. Is that a trip that we look forward to every year and having our fans being able to make a quick trip over instead of some of the longer trips in the league? Yeah, it's something we look forward to every year. We want to stay there through the whole tournament to the championship day. So that's all of my thoughts are on this year. All right. Well, DeAndre and Coach Walker, thank you very much. This has been Josh Mank from AM Commerce here for Lone Star Conference Digital Media Day.